Hello everyone, my name is Wag Kid, the man gen anime kid. As you know it, I drop videos every weekend and today uh, this video that that you are viewing right now it is called Radiant Part 3, which whereby I'm talking about the group called the Inquisition. Okay, uh, the Inquisition is a military force created soon after the appearance of the first nemesis and during the era of the first wizards and sorcerers. Their first objective was to fight against criminal sorcerers and their witchcraft and protect normal humans who are not able to defend themselves to these criminal sorcerers who are able to use uh, magic powers. They started to expand to new territories all over the world and even though the inquisition is heavily involved in what is happening all over the world there are some places like the artemis institute and in the kingdom of sign fender where the inquisition is not allowed or is not present in these areas there are different heads of state or rulers rulers that don't work with the inquisition and they don't have the same objective as them they often work closely with sorcerers and allow the infected to refu to refuge in their lands. But in some areas like in Rumble Town, the Inquisition are heads of government, even forbidding, forbidding infected people. The, the Inquisition is also responsible for the bad image that the infected have, and they would spread rumors that the infected are evil and try to persuade people to side with them and not with the sorcerers. Even though they treat the infected in a bad way, they really care about the normal human beings who are not able to use fantasia or witchcraft. And yeah, the normal they really care about the normal humans uh, all over the world. The Inquisition is under the kingdom of uh, Bohm. Yeah. The Inquisition is a big military group made up of uh, several ranks and the smallest rank would be the foot soldiers, next comes the corporal, then the sergeant, after it is the warren officer, followed by the major, above that it is the lieutenant. All these are like nameless characters in the man, what, what do I mean by that? I mean like we haven't seen a character that has played a major part in um, the plot of Radiant so far that, that we know of, that we can name like a spe specific character or specific person. So uh, these ranks are there but like they are just soldiers, we just see soldiers, we don't know who is a lieutenant specific specifically and yeah so forth. Above the lieutenant it is the captain. So far we know of Captain uh, Conrad that was based in Rumble Town and Seth uh, defeated him when he was there at Rumble Town and Captain Dragonov and Captain Lis Lislot. Uh, the level higher is Commander. Von Tebbs and Almina are in those ranks. The uh, next rank is the Colonel and the one in that position in is, Sato is Satori aka the Peak. General is the rank is the next rank and is at a, and the one at that position is top aka the beast the highest position in the inquisition is the marshal and uh, we haven't seen the marshal yet i think we are gonna meet him uh in the in the inquisition uh meeting that is coming up in on the next volume whereby uh, all the inquisitors all, of all over the world are meeting up and yeah in the, in this meeting that uh we're gonna see in the next volume that would be uh, released of the next volume that will be released of uh radiant i think it's radiant chapter 13 yeah volume 13 yeah yeah volume 13 and these the inquisitors which i have just mentioned are the inquisitors of both there are many others and um right now many other inquisitors all over the world and they have their specific generals and and uh, lieutenants and captains so right now i'm gonna give you those uh inquisitors 
of different parts of the world okay cool okay guys uh my apologies if i butcher any of these names uh yeah so let's just go down to it the inquisition of the country up above a uh, boom uh these are the soldiers that we know of the major inquisitor is Monterio, the colonel inquisitor is Rini, and and the general of the country uh, up above is Coglico Raiden. The Inquisition of Sept- Septentrium has a general inquisitor called Coglic Cron, and for the the following group set of soldiers is from the empire of fileri the inquisition the inquisition of the empire of fileri ye yen lua is the deputy general inquisitor and Eng- enga lua is the captain inquisitor and followed by the inquisition of inlandis which is gentil hu hume which is the hume yeah Ugh, i'm bad at these words at these names sorry is the general inquisitor and sen- essentia uh, is the major inquisitor the inquisition of kumheri lands or kumheri lands uh, the general inquisitor is uh, sagon and the inquisitor colonel is inna inya yeah sorcerers use fantasia to create spells to fight against enemies like the inquisition and other criminal uh, sorcerers or other foes that are sorcerers i discussed in my last video radiant part 2 uh, how fantasia works and how do sorcerers create uh, spells so you can go check it out after watching this one and if you want to know more about radiant and don't forget to subscribe to to miss it and uh, not uh, so that you do not miss another video the inquisition are able to fight against the powerful sorcerers who use fantasia and witchcraft but what does the inquisition use to fight against the sorcerers the inquisition mainly uses weapons designed to attack sorcerers and use minerals that are mined from the ground that can go up against fantasia Black silver is one of those mir- minerals, and it is used to create cages uh, to uh, hold sorcerers in in them. Yeah, black silver creates some type of uh, f- vacuum of fantasia inside the cage, which means sorcerers cannot easily escape when they are inside the when they are locked inside the cage. But the downside to this is that long range attacks. By sorcerers that are outside the cell can t- can damage these uh, cages from the made from black silver. I mean. And there's also white silver, which is rare in the world. White silver doesn't create a vacuum; it repels and returns some of the fantasia that was projected towards a weapon that is coated with uh, white silver. The more white silver uh, a weapon is made, the more the the easier it would be to repel fantasia with it uh white silver is placed in shields that the inquisition soldiers use to protect themselves and in many other weapons the inquisitor captain called conrad has a spear that is made up of 72 percent white silver so his spear he can use he can easily repel fantasia with this with this spear because most of it it is made up of white silver yeah and the, the inquisition also used this powder like substance that they pour on sorcerers to stop them from using fantasia so this this powder like substance can also undo spells so if they like pour you with this powder like substance you won't be able to use fantasia and but the downside is that you can also like wash it off and then you after after a few seconds you you'll be able to use fantasia again uh there is there was during the war between the sorcerers or the sorcerer knights of uh sign fender 
and the inquisitors the the inquisitors use this uh, object that absorbs uh, fantasia in that area this object uh, absorbs fantasia around that uh, around it in a specific radius but then after some time the radius uh, starts to grow and it absorbs uh, more fantasia and it covers more ground where uh, fantasia was absorbed and the, Inquis the inquisitors travel in these huge battleship ships that have uh, cannons on top of the uh, on top of them which they use to fire at attacking sorcerers and yeah the inquisition also has a special ability called the miracle it is a special ability that the thoma thugs can only use the thoma thugs are a special group made up of different people from different ranks in the inquisition it was created by Tog, the general of the inquisition uh, to be part of this group the, the thuma thugs you need to go to a secret place in mount arcadia this place is so secret that that even the the captains and the rest of the inquisition doesn't know about it so you go to mount arcadia and you go through a ceremony to reveal your miracle the first person to use the miracle was the Pentrum Inquisitor. Today there are about uh, seven Thelma thugs and they all use the miracle. This includes Tog, Dragonov, Von Tebs, Santori, Almina, uh, Sardin, Islot, and these are the ones that we know that can use the miracle. I'm not gonna... Uh, uh, name out or explain their miracle yet I'm gonna create a video whereby I explain I go through the character profile of each uh, character in Radiant so look out for those ones that's it from me my name is Wack Kid the man can anime kid and subscribe like the video if you enjoyed it or if you found it informative uh, I'll create this video because I like the manga Radiant and I hope that you guys will read it too and then like we can like form a community or something and uh, just write anything you you know about the Radiant in the comment section and let's start a conversation peace out guys